right, so we're out here at Big Snow at the American Dream Mall, the only indoor facility of, of this sort with real snow on the inside. Hugh Reynolds, tell us a little bit about this place. It's a beautiful thing to have a ski area that we have complete control over the weather within. And we make snow here at Big Snow the same way that snow happens naturally in the outdoors. So uh, our snow is chemically and structurally no different than natural snow. It's, it's just frozen water. Um, we just help it along with the use of some machinery and the ability to control the temperature. So we make about an inch or two of snow every evening um, just to keep the surface refreshed. And we have 5,500 tons of snow. Wow. Uh, average base depth of two feet throughout the entire facility. This looks like a regular mountain, and are you going to know any difference on this snow as opposed to what you find on a mountain outside? One of the things that our guests are most surprised by is the quality of the snow indoors. If you ski and snowboard and you think of man-made snow, you usually think of a lesser quality snow. And a lot of that has to do with the elements in the outdoor where the snowpack goes through freeze and thaw cycles and, and the sun hits it and all of that creates icing. You don't get any of that in here. Is it always very consistent or can you make different types of snow? It is. It, you know, if I could show it to you. Yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty much like the same stuff that I have the snowball it, fight it, with, right? It, it is no different than the snow that happens in nature. Okay. The way that we're able to make snow is a combination of air temperature and relative humidity in the air. Uh, so, you know, we need to be below freezing, obviously. Uh, rules of physics still apply yep but because of the humidity we actually need to bring the temperature down even lower so when we make snow we bring the temperature down to around 21 degrees there is like an optimal range to make snow just like it is in nature exactly and that's how we get this nice powdery consistent snow surface no ice in a snowstorm if we get an inch of rain you get about a foot of snow 10 inches to a foot of snow What's it like in here? How much water do you use? You know, in terms of the equation, um, you know, rain to snow, we're, we're similar to the outdoors. We're probably a little bit less just because, you know, in nature, as, as the water can fall longer, the crystals get a little bit bigger right. and create that fluffy snow that everyone who skis loves to get, yes. get their hands on. So, you know, probably one inch of water equates to seven or eight inches of snow. Um, you know, when we're making snow here at night, we're, we're going through about 7,000 gallons of water an evening. So you can kind of get a sense of how much it takes to create what you're seeing. One of the reasons why we don't make snow while we're open when guests are here, it, it's, it's not the serene picture that you have in your ah. mind of gentle snow falling outdoors. Um, it, it's kind of like standing in front of a jet engine. So Got it. we have these 12 snowmaking units that are suspended from the ceiling. Um, each one of them has a chiller unit attached to it that helps us bring the water temperature down to below freezing to help with, with the snow making. Um, and then through high pressured air, we, we create as fine a mist as we can with that water. It is a really fun surface to ski on and uh, endless winter right here in New Jersey.